Yeah, dear all, good morning. Now our lecture is for uh, four subspaces associated with a matrix. This is the, our last lecture in the second unit. So now how to find the four uh, subspaces associated with a matrix? This subspace we can say fundamental subspaces associated with a matrix. So we define the subspaces first. Of. Let A be on M by N matrix. Then we define the four subspaces associated with a with a matrix A as or the first one the column space column space C of it is generated by C of A correct C or script C what we use capital C text we use of A is a subspace of R power N and is the linear span of the column columns of A it's a linear span of the columns of A the column space you can write C O column of A the second one, the null space, which is denoted by N of A, script N or capital N, and R you can use, you can write another way, sometimes L, null space of A. Of A is a subspace of R power N and is solution set of A x equals 0. Now, third one, the row space, R of A, the same as the column space of A transpose, is a subspace of R power N and is the linear span of the row space of A. Now last one, uh, you can write uh, row space, uh, column space of A transpose or column space you can say row space of A transpose. The left null space N of A transpose, it's a notation. Or we can say left null space of or null space of A transpose. Left null space of or null space of A transpose. It is denoted by N of A transpose. This is a subspace of R power M and is solution set of a transpose x equal to 0 solution now observe here here out of these four subspaces two are subspaces of r power m two are subspaces of r power m that is uh, we have two subspaces subspaces for r power m and two for Two for R power n. That means uh, R of a, n of a. It is subspace of R power n. C of a, left null, uh, null space of a transpose. This is subspace of R power n. So, this one. So, now same thing already we discussed. When we discussed uh, uh, transform T from R n to R n. Correspond this linear transformation with a matrix. The matrix is M by N matrix. M by N matrix. Now you have this a corresponding this transformation or T from U to V. Corresponding this matrix. This after we find out range space, null space. The two spaces, range and null. Corresponding this matrix, we get four subspaces. I get column space and left null space. See, generally, when you are different function from uh, Rn to Rm, Rn to Rm, it is defined by, by f of x equal to ax. This is the one. That means, actually, range means range of f is same as the column space of range is same as the column space. Column space is same as the uh, column space is the same as the row space. That means the row, uh, row space or column space but range, range of function corresponding with matrix. Those are this, actually this one we are getting solution set of x equal to b. This is the column space. Row space is the solution set of x transpose, a transpose, b transpose. This solution set is the column transpose. Already we discussed last class solving this one. That one will get. But we are not using this procedure, we go for another way. That is, column space is the range of the function. So, we already find out range of uh, linear transformation. What the range of linear transformation is? A t of x such that x belongs to domain. So, this also we can define the range of uh, row space, column space. Now, column space of A, the same as denoted C of A, equal to, that means, 
ये एक्स दैट है ये आप एक्स यार ये आप एक्स सच दैट एक्स बिलांग्स तू आर पावर यन इस कालास के सबसे साफ आर पावर है चुनाव ले यू कैन डिफाइन रोस पेस और डर रोस पेस आप ही दैट इस सेम एज यू गेट कालास पेस आप ही आर पावर पेस इसी कोल्ड मी राइट कालास पेस इस सेम एज ट्रांसपोज या एक्स सच दैट एक्स बिलांग्स तू इट ट्रांसपोज मींस इट्स एक्स बिलांग्स आर ट्रांसपोज विल गेट एक्स बिलांग्स तू आर पावर एम सरफेस ऑफ आर पावर रो स्पेस नो नल स्पेस नल स्पेस ऑफ ये ट्रांसपोज ये दिस इज़ नल स्पेस ऑफ ये इट्स द एक्स बिलांग्स तू आर पावर एम सेट ऑफ़ ऑल सॉल्यूशंस इन आर पावर एम तो एक्स इक्वल जीरो फॉर This is you can define the four subspaces. I will discuss how to solve this, how to find these four subspaces associated with given matrix. First, I will see some simple example. Example. Simple example. Consider a matrix. Matrix A equal to one zero zero. Zero zero zero. So simple example. This is two by three matrix. But this one we know this R of t, n of t, subspace of R power three, column uh, space of sorry, yeah, column space of yeah, column null space of yeah, transpose R, subspace of R two. See what the row space means? It's a linear span of linearly independent rows. What are the linear limit of rows? Only one row is there. That means R of T contains R of A. R of A contains only one non-zero rows. One zero zero. So you write transpose. Note you can write. Note in this one uh, we write we write always this column like that. Column vector. We write it always column vector. We write row vector. I right? use transpose. R of A contains one zero zero. Only one non zero rows. Yeah, what about this one? It is line line in R three. It is surface in R three rows. Now what the null space? Uh, okay, write column C of T. Column. What about C of A? It's a Uh, linear span of non-zero columns are linearly independent columns. How many linearly independent columns are there? Only one column. Means C of A contains one zero. It is line in R two. Now, now N of T. N of T is solution set of x equal zero. Now this solution of x equal to zero. When you take x, this is subset of R three. If you take x by z is R, solve this one. Then x equal to zero by z is unknown. If you take the spanning, that means it contains y one zero x zero one. If you take y is one zero and z is zero, and y is zero, z is one zero zero one. This contains. That means it is plane in R three. The linear span is the plane. And the last one, null space of A transpose. Null space of A transpose. Null space. Uh, what it contains? Null space of A. That means the solution set of A transpose x equal zero. That means the solution one zero 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 zero. Any x y in R two. Solve this equation. We get x is zero. That means y is non-zero. 
it contain uh, spanning of this vector it is line in r2 this one that means r of t means r of t is linear span of or linear span of 1 0 0 transform which linear span what is the uh, 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 color space of t linear span and then it's a it is uh, it's generating r of t of this matrix it's only generating color space of this matrix that's what or you can write this way linear span of whatever you write if you write column but if you write work use transpose what are null space of t the linear span of two vectors 0 1 0 0 0 1 null space of a transpose A, I'm using T, T. What about this one? Linear span of 1 or 0, 1. It's the span. Or suppose you're talking about the basis. Yeah. This is for R of T. Is. Basis means number of linearly independent vectors generated in space. How many independent vectors are in uh, row space? Only one vector. But this is for R of T is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0. Now, what is the basis? For an uh, C of A is, C of A is only one vector generated. That's 1, 0. What is the basis for? The notation is important. Space is asking that linear span or linear span of this vector or it's contains this vector. Contain means generating that one. If you ask the basis, write set. N of A is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And the basis for uh, or of N of A transpose. Space is 0, 1. Yeah, this is the basis. Or you can write in notation form the like R of T. This one in a space form. R of A equal to such that X, Y, Z transpose belongs to R3 such that yeah, this one X, Y, Z. That means Y, this column is 0, this column is 0. That means Y is equal to 0, Z equal to 0. This type of using this. Uh, Yes, it is the basis. All are using row space or place for row space like this one. Subscribe y is equal to zero. You get one zero zero. This vector. Similarly, color space up here. What we will get? This is the x y transpose belongs to R two. That means here transpose we write x is that means y is zero. Use this one y is equal to zero. You get one zero. This one. Next, I am writing here null space of A. What are null space of A? Null space of A, subspace of R3, XYZ belongs to R3 such that you know, so, uh, solution of this one. When we are solving this equation, x is 0, uh, AX equal to 0. That means x. Okay, this one x y z x equal to zero y z is non zero that means only x is zero. Now null space of a transpose null space of a transpose null space of a transpose that means x y belongs to R2 is a transpose transpose right in column vector such that See, so this minus is x is 0, y is non zero, that means only x is 0. If x equal to 0, this is not get it. If x equal to 0, we get these two vectors in this one. Right? And this is the four subspaces. It is simple. Suppose uh, here I given only one non zero row or one non zero column. If it's more than one non zero rows or non zero column, out of five, I will discuss.
how to find the row, uh, these four fundamental row spaces first one we will discuss how to find the row space of a note that already you know this thing if b is a b is obtained from a by using elementary row operations then the rows of b are linear combination of the rows of a because we are applying operation that is linear combination we get since the elementary row operations can all be reversed when we get reversed we get again a on the rows of a if you reverse it also rows of a or linear combination of rows of b it means uh, b is the linear combination of rows of a similarly if you reverse b is the linear combination of a that means row space of a is same as the row space of b in particular if we take a its row equal to row reduced equal to row reduced row reduced equal to form u by elementary row operations then the non zero rows of u Form a basis for its row space, and hence for the row space of A. What are the non-zero rows are forms a basis of U? It's same as the basis for row space of A because these are U are linear combination of A or A are linear combination of the matrix when you are using row operations. What are the basis for U? It's same as the basis for A. So if rank is R, rank means the dimension of row space. Dimension of row space is R. example let a is this matrix the given row radius is from this one row radius is from how many pivots are there two pivots now what is the rank of this one two number of pivots is the rank this one now what is the row space row space is the number of non zero rows that means r of t contains contains uh, 1 0 3 5 transpose And zero, one, minus two, three. This is row space. Or you can write R of t is the linear span of sorry, linear span of linear span linear span of one, zero, three, minus five, transpose comma. Zero one, zero one minus two, three transpose. This is the linear span. Which one? The basis. If ask me, what is the basis? Basis for R of T is. Basis means what are the vectors generating in this space? Only two vectors are generating R of T. Are corresponding? Sorry, R of T. R of T. It's the basis, uh, range space associated with A. Only two vectors. Basis for R of A is. This is the what I did. Not A. Yeah, R of basis for R of A is the right vectors. You write uh, row right use transform or direct you can write column one zero three minus five. Zero, one minus two. Three. Yeah, this is the basis set for row space. So, or if you want to write in a uh, space, R of A can write space. That means x, y, z, w, whatever you use. Transpose belongs to R four such that. Now use this number of pivots up to this one. No, three will be this one. That one is correct. Three x minus two y. It's the third one. It's the third one equal to z. This one minus five x plus three y. This one is the fourth, fifth, fourth one. Or same as you can write x y z. Then you transpose belongs to R four four. Is that three x minus two y is equal to z. But five x minus three y plus w equal to zero. Hundred. This multiply the minus. This one. Now you can use this one. Already you know uh, by using this subspace finding the basis. Using this uh, subspace. Now use the relations. From this one substitute w equal to three x minus two y. W equal to this one. We will get this the basis. Okay. This is row space. If you write row space this way or linear span of this one. What do you write? So both are same. This one notation. 
the inner spanner or this one. Yeah. From this one we get spanning set. The spanning set is vectors are the basis. Now null space. How to find the null space of here? Yeah, recall that the original purpose of elementary elimination was to simplify a system of linear equations without changing any of the situation. Elimination means row operation, elementary operations. That means this system x equal 0 is reduced to ux equal 0, row reduced to and the process is invertible, uh, inversible. That means solution of x equal 0 is same as the solution of ux is 0. If the bottom solution is uh, equal form solution, same as this one, already we discussed last time. The solution is not changed when we are using elementary operations. Therefore, the null space of A is the same as the null space of U. Rank of A is R, then the number of pivots is R, that's the rank. Then the number of free variables, if rank is the number of free variables, is N minus R, the number of free variables. The null space N of A is of, is of dimension N minus R, if rank is of dimension N minus R, because null space is subspace of R power N. The dimension of R power n, that's n minus r. A basis can be constructed by reducing to ux equal to 0, which has n minus r three variables corresponding to the columns of u. They do not contain pivots. The, the uh, pivots that do not contain pivots. Then in turn, we, uh, in turn, we give to each free variable the value 1. To the other free variables, the value 0. And solve ux equal to 0 by back substitution for the remaining basic basic or, or remaining variables remaining variables the n minus vectors produced in this way are a basis for null space we will see example this is the example which so, already taken up so, for the null space null space of a this one what we write in the solution of x equal to better right? like x1, x2, x3, x4 because its subspace of R4 transpose belongs to such that ax equal to 0 where x is this vector. So now this x1, x2, x3, x4 transpose belongs to R4, 4. Now x same as the ux equal to 0 because it is a row reducible form. The solution set is same. That means x1, x2, x3, x4. So that no, no, write this one solution. I am writing directly that means x1 plus 3x3 minus 5x4 x4 equal to 0. x2 minus 2x3 plus 3x4 equal to 0. This is the one. Now using this relation, all of you know how to find the base. Now from here, so uh, take x1 equal to minus 3x3 plus 5x4. Take uh, x2 equal to 2x3 minus 3x4. x3, x4 same. Such that transpose x3 comma x4 belongs to R. This one can I write? Take x3 comma, you get minus 3 if you write back on this one minus 3 comma 2 1 0 transpose plus x4 5 minus 3 0 1 transpose so that x3 x4 belongs to r this is the space this one you can write or this is the you can write the linear span of vectors Minus 3, 2, 1, 0 transpose, comma, 5, minus 3, 0, 1 transpose. This is the linear span. This is the, this is the null space. We can write this space or the corresponding this space is the generating this vector. Therefore, basis is on, on null space of A is basis is the minus 3. 2, 1, 0, or you can write O on transpose, or you can write column vector. 5 minus 3, 0, 1. This is the basis for null space. This is the procedure to find null space. Or another way, or here I mention 
when you write a solution one variable that one what are the free variable one free variable will give one another free variable give zero see here one free variable is yeah, what are the number of free variables two free variables now take one free variable is one remaining free variable is zero take one free variable here x3 is one x4 is zero in corresponding that one we can display it another way suppose x4 is one and x3 is zero corresponding that one we will get this part or you can go for the solving c this is a number space now i find the column space the column space of a since elementary row operations do change the column space is not obvious given the dimension of column space and dimension of column space of a transpose but we know the dimension of column space and dimension of a transpose that means we know rank of a same as the rank of a transpose that means we know row space same as the column space of a transpose or column space of a is same as the row space of a transpose that means dimension is same but the space is not same row space is not same as the column space when we are using row operations the, the both dimensions are same that's why the dimension is called dimension of row space and dimension of column space is called rank of a matrix and dimension of r of t dimension of is n of t uh, c of t c of a both are same this is called is rank this is, is rank of a now the following some non trivial observation see now when we are using elementary operations is rank so suppose that you use the row reduced i'm writing row reduced row reduced the ground form of a so you equal to e a where e is product of elementary matrices let us write this uh, relation in terms of the columns of u these are the columns and the those of a columns of a and these are the columns of uh, yeah. yeah u1 u2 equal to when you are applying this the columns of uh, account form u1 u2 u2 these are the columns of a u1 u2 equal to when you are the e u equal to e this is elementary matrix of this one we will get like this one see now hence we have here here yeah, the one two uh, when you are applying this we know the columns of u the content of the pivots are linearly independent in u it's content the pivots that are the linearly independent it follows that the corresponding columns of u are also linearly independent and the other columns of r depends dependent from this when you are using a row equivalent form it's not changed that linearly independent and dependent columns the, so that they uh, they also span c of a and thus thus they form a basis for the space that means corresponding pivots columns of b whatever uh, converted error rate is called correspond to this pivot columns are form a column space of a that's the main thing the dimension of the column space equal the rank r which also equal the dimension of the row space that is called rank the number of independent columns equal the number of independent rows that means dimension is same but the space is not same the basis for column space of a is formed by the r columns of a which corresponded over in u to the column containing pivots the column space is formed by the row columns of a corresponding to the pivotal columns let us see for example this one now what is column space uh, c of a contains see now, now previously in the row space these are the non zero rows these are the basis for row space corresponding rows also get the basis it's a linear combination we can write corresponding rows also we can write but here this pivotal columns this is the basis for u but it's not it's a basis for the column space of a that's the important in the row space you can write whatever you write equal from rows non zero rows or matrix of non zero rows they are from a basis but in other uh, columns 
Expanding pivotal columns, which form a base, uh, base of A, contains 1, 1, 1 and 1, 2, minus 2. Corresponding columns. This, uh, this columns are basis for U, it's not U, not A. Or you can write C of A equal to uh, linear span of 1, 1, 1, comma. 1, 2, minus 2. This is the one. Or you can write linear span of. Or you can write C of A equal to linear span of. Sorry, linear span of. Linear. Uh, or you can write C of A equal to linear span of. So 1, 1, 1 transpose 1, 2, minus 2 transpose. Don't write the pivotal columns. The corresponding columns are the column space generated. Okay. Therefore, basis, what is the basis? Basis for uh, C of A is 1, 1, 1, uh, 1, 2, minus 2. This is the basis. This is the basis for space. How to write basis? Okay, next we will discuss writing that uh, column space. Yeah, this is the linear span is the column space we will get. So take column space the linear span of this one. This is space. Now left null space. The left null space of A or the null space of A transpose. If A is an N by N matrix, then A transpose is, transpose is N by M. It, its null space is a subspace of R power n. Null space is subspace of R power n. It is clear that dimension of null space of A transpose equal to M minus 1. Since rank of A is rank of A transpose. That, that means rank R is same. That is the rank. Null space of uh, dimension null space is the N minus R. Dimension null space of A transpose is the M minus R. Dimension null space you can say nullity already. But we use this word nullity. The dimensional null space you can use nullity. Already we are using this word in first unit. You can nullity. The word you can write nullity. Nullity, nullity means dimension of null space. To find the basis for null space of A transpose, you take A transpose to its row equal form and row reduce equal form. Rho reduced to ground form, rho reduced to ground form, and using the m minus r free variables, generating m minus r basis vectors. Same procedure like uh, null space of A, give the each free variable in turn value 1, another one in general. Now see example this one. Yeah, now uh, what the null space of A transpose contains. Null space or the null space of A transpose. The null space of A transpose is equal to the x1, x2, x3 belongs to R3 such that this is a row register in form of A transpose. That means A. A transpose x equal to 0. This is the solution. Now, this same as the x1, x2, x3 belongs to R3. It is a rotation of form solution. I am writing directly. This one you get x1 is 0. x1 plus, sorry, x1 plus x3 is 0. x2 minus 3, x3 equal to 0. Now, using this relation, we will get you can write x1 equal to minus x, uh, x1 plus 4x3, x1 equal to minus 4x3, x2 equal to 3x3, x3 is 3, transpose belongs to R3, R known such that x3 belongs to R. This one you can write, x3 comma, minus 4, 3, 1 transpose. 
So that x3 belongs to R. This is the same as the linear span of linear span of minus 4, 3, 1 transpose. So span. Linear span. Yeah, this one. Therefore, basis is this linear. You can use this space and using this space. This one. This is a null space of a transpose. This is space. What the basis for a, a null space of a transpose is? Minus four, three, one. This is the one. Okay. Now you can add column space base. I am not written. This column, column space of A. This one you can write. X, Y, Z belongs to R3 transpose such that column space you can write. This is yours. This one you can write. 4X minus 3Y equal to this equal to x to x column y equal to z. This is the column space. By using this column space, you can find the column space vectors. So this vectors. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 2. You can check it. Now you can check it. Substitute the 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 2. 1, 1, 1. Substitute this one. 4 minus 3, 1. 1 equal to 1. Start space. Second also start space. That's six column space. The class will be correct easily. The except the pivot columns, the remaining columns you are right. 4x minus 3y. The remaining column you could check. Like that. Now dimensions of four subspaces of a matrix. The following table relating to the dimension of the fundamental subspaces. Then now we know row space of a is R and column. That is rank. The spaces are not same. Rank. But we know row space is subspace of R and column space is subspace of R power A. It's a different. Null space of A is N minus R. Null space of A transpose is N minus R. If the fundamental theorem of linear algebra, the fundamental theorem, let A be an M by N matrix. The column space and the row space both have dimension R. The null spaces have dimension N minus R and M minus R. It's the same like rank in theorem. You know this is T from U to V. R of t, R of, uh, t plus nullity of t equal to dimension of u. Dimension of u, you know this one. Okay, na? Yeah, same thing. Here, uh, here take function from R into R M. Suppose you take t transform R from R N to R M. So now rank of t plus nullity of t equal to dimension of n. Uh, dimension of R power n. Like null space. Suppose uh, this one, uh, this one, that a nullity equal to null space of equal to dimension of r power n. Dimension of r power n is n. Rank of t. If t rank of t is r, n minus r. Similarly, if take r into rf, now transpose. That means rank of a plus nullity of, suppose we are taking a is, the right f is like function, defined by f of x equal to, we can ax equal to, ax. Yeah, rank of a, nullity of a. This one. Now you write uh, rank of a transpose, nullity of a transpose. V is from uh, rm to r. It transpose means from rm to rm. The dimension is, that means dimension of r power n. That means uh, nullity of a transpose, m minus uh, rank of A transpose same as rank of A, that is R, M minus R. That means null space of A transpose is N minus R, null space of A is the N minus R. So if it is given any matrix like A is any uh, 3 by 5 matrix, uh, 3 by 7 matrix, or 4 by 7 matrix. Suppose if rank of A is 2, what is the null space of A? Null space of A is 7 minus 2, that is 7 minus 2 is 5. What is the null space of A transpose? 
the 4 minus 2. That is, this n by n by n means 4, n is 7. Keep that. In the previous example, in the previous this one. So now observe here, this is a 3 by 4 matrix. 3 by 4 matrix. Now I am writing here. This is a 3 by 4 matrix. What is the rank up here? Rank up here means uh, dimension of whole space and dimension of whole space both are the same. See what is the null space of A? Yeah, 3 by 4 means that uh, it is equal to uh, null space of A is subset of R power n. That's a 4. R power 4 means 4 minus rank 2. That's a 2. Is the null space contain 2 vectors or not? You can check it. It's a 2 vector. All we discussed. Now, what is the null space of A transpose? So, a transpose is subset of R power m. That means 3. So, 3 minus rank. Minus two one. And now we have null space containing only one vector minus four three comma one. Okay, this is the this is the theorem. This, this theorem is called the fundamental theorem for linear algebra. It's important theorem. Okay. Now example. I given two example. I will discuss one example. So let a equal to zero two three four. 0, 6, 7, 8, 0, 10, 11, 12. First of all, M is convert to row red to the current form. Now this is equal to right here. That is equal to convert to pivot. Here 2 is the convert to 1. 1, 3 by 2, 2. 0, 6, 7, 8, 0, 10, 11, 12. That means I am using here on R1, after R1, R1 divided by 2. Now using this pivot, converted to the below elements are 0 that in that column. That means this 0. You have to convert these two are zeros. For, for that, we need to apply on R2 is R2 minus 6 R1 and R3 is R3 minus 10 R1 10 R1 0 0 already written so R2 minus 6 R1 R2 means 7 minus 6 3, 6 into 3 by 2 2 uh, 7 minus 9 minus 2 next R3 11 minus 3 uh, 10 into 3 by 2 5 15 minus 4. Next, R3, uh, R2, 8, 8 minus 12 minus 4. Next, 12 minus 20 minus 8. This is the one. Now, again, now convert to this pivot. Oh, the minus 2 is the divided with the R2 row by minus 2. This is 0, 1, 3 by 2. 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, minus 4, minus 8. That means I have used here on R2 is R2 divided by minus 2. Next to convert to, using this power convert in this column, remaining element is zeros. That means 0, 1, 0, 0. This one you have to convert to 0, 1. This one is convert to 0. Now on R, R1, now top R1 minus 3 by 2, R2. On R3, R3, my 4, R, R2. This is the thing. So now, R1, R1 is uh, 3 by 2, 2 to cancel, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So 2 is same. Minus 8 plus yeah, zero. Yeah, this is the one. This is already form. This one. Now column space of A is or row space of A. What is row space of A? Is? Linear span of linear span of 0, 1, 0, minus 1, transpose. 0, 0, 1, 2, transpose. This is space. Or you can write same as this one. X, Y, Z, W, 
or x1 x2 y2 z2 right transpose belongs to corpus such that this is a pivotal column right this is a non pivotal all r zero means x is zero comma this x is zero that means we get minus x plus 2y equal to x w that means x is zero means 2y equal to 2y is equal to w this the one if you use this one use this relation x equal to zero uh, y is equal to or w equal to 2y and it is same as and we are getting a uh, W y using this we will get these two vectors. This is spanning one. Yeah, therefore, basis is is row rate derivable form. Therefore, basis is for R of A is for the basis that is the zero one. 0 minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 2. This is the basis. Using this space, we get the same vectors. We can try this one. Next, uh, what is null space? Null space of A equal to better write x1, x2, x3, x4, belongs to, transpose belongs to R4 such that x equal to 0. That same as x1, x2, x3, x4 transpose belongs to r power 4 ax. Now write that solution. Already we know that uh, the same as the equivalent form. That means y, uh, that means x2 minus x4 equal to 0, comma, x3 plus 2x4 equal to 0, x3 plus 2x4 equal to 0. Now choose this one. This is the space. Using this space, we can find the spanning set. From this one, we can write uh, x1 is same. We can write x2 equal to x4. x3 equal to minus 2x4. x4 equal to x4. Such that x1 comma x4 belongs to R. Directly, we know how many vectors are there in a uh, null space. If we got rank is rank of a is 2, or the uh, null space of a is 4 minus 2, which must be its connected two elements x1, x2, unknown are there, it should get spanning of two vectors. We we'll take x1 common 1, 0, 0, 0, transpose plus x4, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, transpose, such that x1, x4 belongs to. Ah, this is the linear span of 1, 0, 0, 0 transpose, comma, 0, 1, minus 2, 1 transpose. This is a null space. Therefore, basis for null space? Please. 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, minus 2, 1. This one. Now, this is the second one. Uh, this is the first one. Row space. Now, third column space. Right, third one. Column space. What is the column space of A? Column space of A is the what are the pivotal columns? The corresponding pivotal columns in A. It is the basis for uh, basis for the uh, column space or linear span of this one. Yeah, that means we can write linear uh, L of S is linear span of uh, corresponding column. It's a 2611, 2610, 2610 transpose 2610, 3711, 3711 transpose. Yeah, this is the Linear span. Linear span. Why it's contained in some two vectors? Therefore, basis of CA is 
basis of for is 261 3711 this is the basis so now find the color space this is one of the basis it's a, uh, this two letters generating now go for another way also now uh, find the null space of a transpose first write this matrix in a transpose and convert it to row radius diagram form and find uh, now go for the Null space of A transpose by same as the null space of A. And the row space you can write by using like this. Row space of column space of A also in that case. Already I will uh, I written in the two, first example. Same way write the column space of A. Okay. So yeah, now try this example. It's a looking, it's a difficult, but it is uh, it's a big matrix. 4 by 6, 4 by 6. But you get easily tried. I think you get rank is two. You get try that one. See in this one, what the we got rank is two. What the null space of uh, rank? What the null space of a transpose? How many vectors in null space of a transpose is? A three minus two. Only one vector we are getting. Get right. Null space of a transpose contains only one vector. That means one vector is generating null space. So now I stop here. This is last topic in our second unit. Now next week uh, we will discuss third unit. Now uh, coming Saturday I am conducting second. Already you know I am conducting second quiz. The best, all the best for second quiz. Thank you.